that's the Rust language um, doc on doc.rustlang.org. I'll just go over this. Here I have a terminal in which I already installed Rust, but that, that's about it. So no IDEs or anything. I'm going to just use vanilla Vim with no plugins or anything because I don't want to get distracted by anything at this point. All right, so let's go. Learn us some Rust. Um, I guess that's how we go to the next page. Bam. Installation, blah, blah, blah. That's what I did. So I have this, blah, blah, blah. Done. Woo. Hello world. No, no, no. Creating project directory. Um, okay, let's, let's do this. Hello world. And see world. Sounds about right. So, how do we compress C to the compiler? Okay, so let's. Um, hello, rest. Fn. Main. Print land. That's. Yeah, that's a pretty ubiquitous. The bang, I think. I remember reading something about bangs being macros and also that rust is one of those languages where everything is an expression so there are no like statements so a regular println or something probably would be a func that returns something maybe a union i don't know not sure and that would be something else but we'll see about that Hello. World. That's wonderful. And the rest. Let's see. That takes quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, lower. Oh, I called it hello and not main. <clears throat> so now we know the name doesn't matter i guess which is important ish maybe i don't know anatomy of a rust program so there's going to be a main function first code that runs in every executable rust program very similar to many other languages okay use curlies for functions um Parenthesis for first function args. There's going to be a Rust format. Now, one of the things that I really like about Go is the Go format thing, which just takes the arguments away that people don't need to argue all the time about formatting. That's how it works, and that's it. And let's talk substance instead of form. So, yeah, that's that's pretty cool, and I'm happy that Rust has the same thing. All right, that's the print. Blah blah blah. Println is a Rust macro. If it was a function, it would be without a bang. Discuss it later. Cool. Semicolon, I guess. Blah, blah, blah. Compile. Thing, da, da. Windows. Next. Cargo is Rust build system. Da, 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 da. Rustations. Oh, come on. So cargo is the thing that is, is it is it already here? Cargo. Yep. So blah blah blah. Creating cargo project is okay, so I need to go one up and cargo new hello cargo and then C D hello cargo. Oh I got some good stuff in there as well okay that's sweet just wonder what's in git ignore ah, almost nothing which is cool i think it means that it does not um you know 
force you onto any IDE stuff or anything. Um, that's cool. Oh yeah, you can override whether you get Git or something else or not. Okay, package. So let's look at the Tomo file. Uh -huh. Edition 2018. No idea what that might mean, but uh -huh. the main function is probably exactly the same, right? Oh, source thing. Yeah, looks exactly the same. So cargo build building. I wonder if second time is going to be, yes, it is faster because reasons. Da, 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 it built into target debug. So that's why target was target debug. Hello, cargo. That works. Okay, so I know a little bit about some of the stuff. Cargo check. Da, 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 da. So it's going to build, but not produce a usable. That's cool. Da, da, da. Build for release. Don't care about this right now. <clears throat> Cargo's convention. So apparently, all Rust programs are going to be cargo driven. I guess it's pretty cool. All right, so that was chapter one. I think that's that's good for now. Um, I have the I, I validated that the setup works, that they can build and run simple app apps programs in Rust. So I'm gonna move on to ch chapter two next time. So. Um, if you happen to be online and watching this, thank you so much. Um, I'd love your comments or whatever. I don't know why, how I can trust this chat or anything, so I'll see you on Twitter, I guess. Mm, see you around.